What up, YouTube world? Those new shoes that I was so excited about? <clears throat> That's the glue that I put on there already. That I'm taking off now with the straight edge. <clears throat> so, and again tomorrow, <clears throat> these might get a reprieve and I might... Uh, Trying to peel it off now. It said 48 hours more than likely to fit it. A huge package there. That's huge. Huge. Huge package. And then three little ones. I'm gonna rip into as I ramble. I got stuff cooking too, so I gotta sort of keep an eye on that. Some hot chicken wings for my lunch. Naomi's at her aunt's. Some papers to read. Some bubble wrap from the store to package stuff up in. I gotta fucking do that. I got a four that I need to get out desperately. I'm gonna use some of this stuff. Some sesame garlic sauce. I got some veggies. Um, yeah, exciting. I don't know what's in what. This one I do know, seeing it. Right out the gate. I just got that with work, I don't know, about a half hour ago. Someone's supposed to be able to a four hour shift. I was able to make it about an eight hour shift, which is good. And then tomorrow I'm supposed to be off for the weekend, but I'm probably going to go in for another eight hours. Boss is gone in New York, so his kid who will never reach the NHL is playing hockey out there that he only spent 2500 on. For him just to play, plus he's bringing a family out there. Always complaining about how he's a poor grocery man, and new vehicles. Yeah, it's it's odd. If you're gonna say that shit, mean it. If you don't have any clue about being poor, shut it. It's like John the Bull. John Bull, one of my good buddies on the trading card site, and I think he's in the clubhouse site on Facebook. Uh, I had this on my watch list anyway. It was so cheap, but he let me know, and I missed it, and then I got it. JJ, and this. I love the green. The green sheen is pristine. 66 of 199. Beautiful bubble mailer here. Can not a fan. I mean, I understand. Times may be coming up on toughness, the way certain situations are transpiring in the capital of our nation. But, come on now. Come on now. Got these two. I'm glad I got the something in the mail to take us. They're not in, one isn't in a hard case. I think it's off the, one of them sports, the sports 2.0 auctions. <clears throat> I should check this chicken pretty quick. This comes off nice. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, fucking Christ. There it goes. The shitty tape. The one piece of tape. Fucked it up. Cock suck. Well, that'll be something I can send out. I missed a TCU guy, I think. In the one card, or one style like this, but I got this and I I looked him up because I I have no clue who the fucker is. First off, I'll show this from Marquette, the nameplate variation, two of thirty nine Henry Ellenson. Not a fan that it's not <clears throat> on card. Beautiful photography. He hasn't done much for Mark. Um, the Pistons, but, and then this cat, to 15, um, Tyler Krieger, Clemson, I don't know, Clemson was in the SEC, 
Says one of the SEC's most consistent hitters over the last two years, Krieger followed up a 338 at line and 14 by hitting 339 and 15. Second baseman enjoyed a 13 game hitting streak spanning the two seasons, which included a 3 for 4 performance on February 27th that lifted Clemson past South Carolina. I thought Clemson was in the ACC. Good job, Panini. Love you. This is on the card, or on that on the card, on the thing, the top load. 14 to 15. He's a prospect for the Indians. One of their top ones. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. I gotta check my chicken. So I want to think both those for around, I think Ellenson was about 8 or 9, <clears throat> and then that other guy was, I think, 10 or 11, just because, again, I'm not a fan of the collegiate stuff, but I looked him up, if nothing else, this can go to a good friend that enjoys the Indians. And this is from Zach Brooks in his auction page. I think I only got two cards. <clears throat> some, of the bid some of the bidding in the smaller pages gets ridiculous. Which, again, it's good for the seller, but at the s it's not good for Dave who's looking for a deal. So first up is from 04 Leather and Lumber, Donruss Leather and Lumber. Numbered to 50. Bat fielding glove. So it's going to be a catcher's mitt. Recently inducted into the HOF. Mr. Pudge Rodriguez. Uh. So happy with that because that was... Because I think three cards I was super interested in, and I got two of them. So, and this one is numbered to 32. Out of rookies and stars, 14, 13, I think. 13. <clears throat> I want to say four, but I'll just say three because I. There might be some navy, deep navy down there. Keenan Allen, team logo <clears throat> uh, patch. Rookie card. This bidding, it didn't get crazy, but he, uh, Zach was even wondering why it was so high. I said, I like the Chargers. So a couple other guys are just like, well, it's a nice patch and a rookie card, and it's low numbered. I tend to agree. So I think I got both those for like 14 shipped. So six and a half, seven for the Keen, and I think four for the Pudge. And now the big package. Ooh, what's inside? I've been meaning to do this for ages, and as you've seen, if you watched my mail day videos at all, you've seen a lot of like patchy cards come in. Not a patchy, but patch cards. And I thought I got a pretty nice deal on this. I've been scouring, not for a long time, I mean I really put the, the pedal to the metal over the last week, week and a half. And I'd asked Ryan about it, RBI crew. I wanted to do business through him, and he didn't get back to me. So, I, and again, I with all the shit they got going on down there, I, that's I'm never gonna hold anything against them except my warm body against theirs. 
chilly November night. But this popped up. as a bin best offer on the, on the, it was like 20, 25 the best offer off or 20 because it could have been like a $30 purchase then. And I figured three bucks a pack for 130 point top loads. I am, I'll be golden for a while. And they counted at 22. I'm like, fuck, whatever. I can deal with that. So, the big package was nothing but supplies. That is it. But, much needed supplies. So, it's... Now I can go through the stuff and... See how many I can burn up for those. The Amaro collection, because he's got a lot of, like, the patchy goodness. And then, um... I don't know, at some point I gotta go fucking meandering through the Josh Johnson stuff and that's just a ta that's that's not a task, that's a fucking chore. So all one hundred and thirty point holders, one hundred of them. Which I had looked on there and I don't even know if Ryan would have been able to match that. That it just seemed like a everything I looked at I think the best deal I had seen on eBay, again, I haven't looked down like a BB, what is it, BBE, BCE, the Baseball Card Exchange or whatever it is, or any of the other like actual Alter Pro sites or whatever. The best on eBay I looked at, just going under like the Alter Pro 130 point top load, I think was, um, and again, I didn't want to get, if I was going to get this many, I wanted to get a screaming deal. The best deal I saw was 40 for like 15 99 free shipping. So like 4 bucks a pack or 40 cents a top load. And as you got more, of course you got a better break, but you fucking had, I think, what was a full case? A full case was maybe 250 or 500 top loads. And I mean, that we're talking like a hundred bucks. And I'm like, eh. I, I need to. I mean, I want to. <clears throat> but I thought this for 30 shipped. A hundred of them. For what? I think 30, 31.95. From Main Street Sports. And I don't know if anybody is down in Ames, Iowa way. I don't know if... Uh, Bill, you're down there. It's in McNabb to Westy, but that's not it. <laughs> but yeah, for 32 bucks, I thought, and again, even if it's not a great deal, comparing it to what I have around here in Ely, Duluth, I'm going to be down in uh, Minneapolis at 3 Star probably next month in Roseville, but at the same time, I can't wait. I needed something. I wanted to get it now, get the shit taken care of, and then if I need more, I can bulk up down there if I can get some kind of <clears throat> bulk deal there. And I just want to get shit ducks in a row before wrestling, because I don't want to be spending any money unnecessarily between then and then pre nationals. Because I misread the Nationals date this year and saw when it was, and I'm going to still go. It'll cause more contention at work. But at the same time, I thought it was a week later than uh, it actually is. I thought it was, like, August. Because I'm used, used to it being, if it's not July 31st through August something, it's August through August. I don't remember the last time it was a July through July date. So that will cause a lot of excitement. So Sunday will not be a day I'll be there. A Sunday will be a travel day back to Minneapolis. I don't know if my brother will be on the road then or he'll already be in Minneapolis. Because that Guns N' Roses concert is Sunday the 30th. So, <laughs> again, plans not... 
changed a lot. But now, for, for I wanted to probably spend an extra day in Chicago just to putter around. And if anybody else was able to, just sightsee or go to a couple different restaurants. That's on the shitter now, so... Not good, but at the same time, I'm still going to try to make it work. I haven't been to Nationals, and if I missed it this year, it'd be six years. I've been, I was there 08, 09, and 2011. I wanted to go in 10, but Naomi was born. I think that was in Baltimore where everybody saw everybody and had a fucking rip-roar and good time. So, I'd like to do that, because there's a lot of guys I haven't seen in a long time, far too long, and uh, there's guys I haven't met, need to meet some of you, somebody's going to meet somebody, I don't know how much I'll do with the after hours stuff, if there's like a trade thing going on, I'd probably be involved with that, but I don't know, not to say I don't want to hang out with people, but it's just, eh. I'm not awkward, but at the same time, it's, I can talk cards. I want to talk to Joey, Birdcat8, because I like people that talk. If he can talk, 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 and I can just sort of throw in points here and there, and I won't say steer his conversation, but make sure he's keeping it off the, the walls and the turns. We can do that. But yeah, it's, I want to... I don't know, I want to take in a couple of these restaurants that I've seen on the diners, drives, dive-ins, whatever, drive-ins, dives, whatever, and some of these other pizza places, and I know that'll probably eat up a night, because if you got the fucking pizza that's that thick of goo and sauce and shit, it's going to be a while. So, I'm trying to plan this shit out now, and hope everything comes to fruition. So, there it is, YouTube. More of my babble. I don't even know what I'm at. 30 minutes. 17 and a half. If you stayed this long, congrats. Um, that is it. Cards coming in. Sub. Oh. <coughs> Some nice ones. So, I'll show them off when they get here. I need to make the chicken. I need to get some vegetables in there, some broccoli and cauliflower and have some of that shit. So, there's that. Keys. The shoe goo that, if I let it sit for longer, it should be better. So, take her easy, YouTube. She's easy. Take her twice.